Hai guys, selamat datang di kanal YouTube saya. Kita lanjutin lagi waktu kedua. Kali ini kita akan mulai operasi yang terunlock atau terbuka setelah kita melakukan operasi utama yang lim nado. Ingat gak yang waktu kita meretas server farmnya nado? Yuk langsung aja. Operasi yang kebuka itu ternyata bukan sampingan atau perlu utama ternyata di LC guys satu dua table konten. Judulnya automata. Nama lainnya adalah noodles keynote. Jadi catatan kuncinya si noodle tujuan bertemu dengan si wrench di atap pendahuluan noodle membuat soft wall besar dan wrench berpikir kamu akan tertarik untuk mendengar apa yang mereka mau katakan oke okay, guys mulai dari jalan sini ya guys nah itu sebenarnya kawit tower ya kalian kalau di kawit tower kalian turunnya itu di tangan itu tuh ada orang oke okay, udah sampai sini terkalian tinggal ke sini itu belok kanan guys Oh, French, where are you at, man? Yo, you're late, Marky Mark. As much as I enjoy our banter and <clears throat> underlying sexual tension, I'm hurt. I thought we moved on to overt sexual tension. Marcus, there's something I want to show you. On my laptop, dude. Oh, where are you? Closure. And prepare yourself. For the breath taking, spine tingling, and almost entirely mind numbing. Noodle cute. Cue it up. You all told us, hey, self driving cars sound pretty cool. <laughs> But we have always prided ourselves in delivering the best. What do you think of a car that knows you, knows who you are? The kind of security awesome. that my adventures can give you. Your key is you. And in the morning, you want time to read the news and drink your coffee while it safely drives you to work. It will remember your preferences and save them right into your biometric profile. For those who opt into the CTOS insurance programs, you get good driver discount automatically and access to fast transit lanes. Sounds too good to be true? It's not. Because at Noodle, we don't wait for the future. We build it. So they want to add biometric data on top of those CTOS monitoring systems? Yep. Because that couldn't possibly go wrong, right? I mean, we all know how altruistic CTOS is, right? Oh, they're insurance companies. And how they would never, ever use our biometric data for their own nefarious purposes, right? Yeah, milk of human kindness and all that shit. There is something wrong in the state of Denmark. Maybe, uh, some daring vigilante should check it out. Maybe, perhaps steal a cool car while we're at it? Because, you know, auto theft's always fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yo, Marcus. Satara, what you got for me? Well, it's a good thing you like driving. Looks like the lead engineer on the biometric car project is a loyal customer of Driver SF. Is that right? Sure is. And I just may have set up a script to reroute his ride requests to you first. Slick. Only the best for dead sec. Check the driver SF app on your phone when you're ready. Oke, minumnya enggak dulu ganti nama ya guys. Jadi misi insinyur noodle. Tujuan pilih misi insinyur noodle menggunakan aplikasi driver SF atau driver San Francisco. Driver itu kayak Uber ya guys, ojek online kayak Gojek, Grab, kayak gitulah. Pendahuluan Mengganggu Insinyur selama mungkin Untuk meretas handphone dia Tipu dia Untuk menunjukkan kebaran kamu Ke fasilitas rahasia Dimana dia bekerja Tugas driver SF 
ke atas ya kita harus jadi dari lebih sana atau dulu lepas aduh So I'm gonna need to convince him to take us to his office, right? Yes, but we've already got a plan. That we do. Ray, you in on this one? Well, it's like Ranch says, car theft is always fun. The plan is that we hack this guy's phone. Right. We set off the alerts on his phone, saying his computer at work is getting hacked. Which makes him freak out and race into work. But we won't actually hack his computer because we don't really need to. Exactly. We just need him to think it's been hacked. I like it. Well, all you gotta do is distract him so we can hack into his phone. Okay, so I'm going to get a bigger top up. Into my shampoo. The stuff is really the papari. It's a little bit of 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 I'm taking you, man. Hot date tonight? My girlfriend just broke up with me. How am I gonna get this guy talking? What was that? I couldn't hear you. Sorry. Just... Hey, go faster! Sorry. Just a little nervous, that's all. This is the first ride I've done in a while. Yeah, had a bad experience, you know, and took a break. Yeah, I can imagine you'd see all sorts of shit driving people around. What happened? Oh, hell yeah! All sorts of shit. Last one was a bunch. Step on it! Oh, hell yeah! All sorts of shit. Last one was a bunch of drunk guys. Mm-hmm. All yelling and hollering at each other about some some sort of art car they were working on. Oh, for that uh, desert festival? Yeah. So the two of them are yelling about LEDs and animatronics and sand and yeah, what kind of drugs people should be on to view their art car. Seriously? They talked about what drugs people would be on? To tailor the experience for the right kind of hallucinations or something? Yeah, exactly that. Then one guy, he punches the other guy right in the mouth. What? So there's blood going everywhere. Meanwhile, the guy who threw the punch is whimpering that he broke his knuckles. Shit. I know, right? So I end up driving them to the nearest emergency room and get this. Yeah? They both try to hug me when I drop them off. Wow. Oh, uh, sorry. My alarm just went off. Have to check this. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. We gotta change direction, buddy. I'm sorry, but I need to get to work. No problem. Updated the destination in the app. I got it. No worries. We'll get you there. Shit! Somebody's breached security. Fuck! The one time I'm not in the office. Uh, yeah, that's, that's how it always happens. Can't believe this is happening now. We have deadlines. Massive deadlines. Yeah, man, that sucks. I hate this project! Why did I ever say I'd be lead? Uh, can you go any faster? I'll try. Shit! Could you speed up? I'm trying it. I'm in a real hurry. I'm okay with you speeding faster, please.
Almost there. You're a lifesaver, man. I am totally giving you a five-star review on the app. No problem. It's my job, after all. You're the best. And here we are at Coda Print. Okay, then. Rilis sumber terbuka open source rilis tujuan ke data center. Penelan. Menindak ke data center dan download prototype perangkat lunak mobil yang tadi yang gas yang subscribing mobil. Oke okay, deh guys. Oh ya yeah, sorry kayak perjalanannya nggak aku skip ya. Soalnya itu kan bagian dari misi. Here we go. Time to get to work. I had faith in you, Marcus. It's not like the rest of us did. Yeah, I have lots of faith in Marcus. I have faith in Marcus. Wow, guys, you all just made my day. It just means so much to me to hear you say that. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't trying to imply anything. I'm surrounded by clowns. But you love us. Well, maybe Josh and Marcus. Ouch! That's okay. It's a bit early in our relationship to get your own words like love around. Take your time. I appreciate Emmanuel's patience. Oh, well, well, this very patient man has work to do. What is going on here? Found it, guys. Great. This should contain all the security specs and info we need. Soon, we will be proud joyriders in the noodle car. I'm really not so sure about this project. Everybody. The car is cool. Don't get me wrong. I would go into aerospace because I didn't want my work hurting anyone. Josh found something interesting in the car's algorithms. Yes. There's a decision-making algorithm. They call it a life score. They fucking call it a life score? A what? It's a method for deciding which lives to prioritize in case of an accident. Yeah? Yeah. You're gonna like this one. The car's onboard computer has direct access to Bloom's databases. It pulls up a score according to metrics Bloom sets. Employment, income, education, race, gender. Fuck! Let me guess, me and Ray get into an accident, one of us on either side? I'm SOL because I'm a young black dude. Not quite. As you know, I'm persona non grata with Blue. 
My life score is pretty damn low, so in that case, I'm SOL. But otherwise, yeah, you got the gist. Looks like we need a voice print and a retinal scan from that noodle VP who gave the keynote to unlock the car. Nice right, phone. I'll get on it. Sending you his address yeah. now. Tentunya, whole investigation atau buat investigasi rumah. Tujuan, meretas VV. V911, what's your emergency? Dari jaringan network sendiri, itu nggak kosong guys. Penduluan, ya kita mau mengambil alih kendali dari mobil prototype tadi. Kita perlu data biometriknya V. Seperti biasa guys, sampai jumpa di lokasi. Oke okay guys, kita sudah dekat sama lokasi ya. Yeah, yeah, I saw. I'm coming in. I'll be there in 10 minutes. Got it. Excellent. Well, you have fun gazing into his pretty brown eyes? Yeah, no. But thanks for playing that thought, Ray. <laughs> Marcus has way better taste than that. Woo! Nice pad this guy has. He should. He's a priority one, after all. How could I forget? This dude's house has the works. Smart TV, smart toilet, smart sink, smart carpeting, smart throw pillows, smart everything. One of those is bound to have his voice print on it. I'm guessing he's the kind of guy who wants to constantly record his own brilliance. <laughs>
Alright guys, I have his voice print, his retinal scan, and far too much information about his life. All that's left is to steal the car. Which means breaking into WKZ, where they're going to be storing it in preparation for Noodle's big fancy reveal. Ah, WKZ. Fine purveyors of BS. And their infomercial about the Noodle car is going to get turned into a lovely expose of how they devalue human life. What's up? Time to steal a car, my friend. They have it on one of their sound stages at WKZ. All shiny and waiting for us. Sounds like fun. I've always wanted to break into a TV station. Since this is such a golden opportunity, boys, we should take advantage of it and plant some information gathering devices at WKZ. I like it. Keep an ear out. Exactly. I'm thinking some actual surveillance equipment and some software. I'll meet you near WKZ with all the gear. Sounds good. See you soon. Tujuan bertemu West dekat WKZ. Pendahuluan Markus sudah mencuri. Eh, maaf, 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 sudah. Markus harus mencuri biometrik kar yang mewah punya ini. Sampai ketemu di lokasi ya, guys. Oke, guys. Kita sudah dekat dengan lokasi. Tuh. Jadi kita tuh depan yang mobil WKZ. Yang waktu itu juga pernah kita pakai. Untuk yang home sweet home, kalian masih ingat ya? 
Yo, wrench. Score! Check these out. I bet they use these during their undercover sting operations. You know, any trouble with the van? Nope. But WKZ hired human Izula as extra security after all these bomb threats I... they received. May I? Tell me, how long have you been a kitty follower? Hey, man, you know that ain't right. And when you first saw the X-ray, did you recognize the action figure wedged inside your rectum? Yeah, it was my wrench figure. Figured that was the perfect hiding spot for him. Wrench, did you give Marcus the USB? Yep, way ahead of you. I uh, was just telling him to jam that puppy into one of WKZ's computers. And I'll take it from there. By the way, if they ever do make a wrench action figure, they better glue the mask on so it doesn't traumatize children. You say that like it's a bad thing. Right, so plant Mike, put some spyware in the system, and steal a cool car using the biometric data we got from the Noodle V. I miss anything? A few other things, but don't worry. I got it covered. I must do something this. Oh, ini masih di atas terus, lama turun.
That'll do it. Peace. 
everybody! Open car! You like magic? <laughs> ka -ching. Shit, man, the car isn't responding. Hi, who, what now? Wrench. Get in the game! I'm trying to turn the wheel and nothing is happening. How the hell am I supposed to drive the damn car? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it might be voice control. Just talk to it. Talk to it? You gotta be joking. No, just talk to it. Uh, drive car. Seriously? Exit the building. Closest exit point. Drive it. Shit, not through the window! Uh, I was a much better car voice. You were totally a fake car voice, but yeah, yeah you, you were better. Oh, Jesus! Turn, turn! Get me the hell out of here. All right. Without killing me. All appropriate safety protocols will be followed. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. How do I revert you to manual control? I don't understand the question. I'm in trouble here. I know, I can't get control of the fucking wheel. You're trying asking the car to give you control? Yes! It didn't understand the question. Well, bypass the self-driving system. Are you a hacker or are you? Yeah, yeah. All right, I can do this before I get shot. Getting shot is inadvisable and will raise your insurance premiums. Ain't nobody ask you? Yeah, I got manual control. Of the car? <laughs> awesome. Don't even ask what I had to do to get it. <laughs> Finally, can catch my breath. Ooh, ooh, life scores. Life scores, that's right. We were gonna check out people's life scores. Mm. This should be entertaining. I'm sure it will be. We could just look people up. Nah, no, much less fun and less useful footage as evidence. Oh, yes, that makes sense. Life scores should be visible when you hack people. Their profiles won't have the same granularity you'd find in the direct data, but will indicate high, medium, or low priorities. Yeah, squad, stand by. We're swinging back around. Covering our sector. We'll find him. self-driving car key to your biometric data they promise you safety and security in exchange for your biometrics using ctos they can see everything about you and that may kill you noodle's car uses your life score linked to your biometric data and its algorithms if it has to choose between your safety and that of someone else the one with the higher life score lives the other dies. Your car will kill you to save someone more important than you. You may not know your life score, but Noodle does. Will they judge you worthy? We have given you the truth. Do what you will. Where the hell were you the whole time I was working my ass off? Doing stuff. How's my hair? Lynn can get it home? No? Alright, fuck you. Oh no. Oh, well, we're in for a big one. Can you can you feel it growing? The south? How long have you been an actor? Oh, I'd say between one and thirty years, I guess. 
But aren't we all acting when you really get down to it? BAM! High chance of rain, people! High chance of rain! Make sure you wear your protection, okay? Jesus shit, Jimmy, where's my goddamn teleprompter? You know I can't even remember my own gosh darn name unless it came to me on the feet first, right? Terima kasih sudah menonton sampai detik ini. Gimana guys, aksinya? Lumayan seru kan dan tegang. Kita ngendap-ngendap di rumah VIP yang muda. Kita diam-diam ngehack kantor berita WKZ. Habis itu kita mencuri mobil yang bisa kita di safe driving car guys. Dan itu diamanin dengan data biometrik kayak bisa fingerprint. Retina dan macam-macam lagi guys. Jika kalian suka konten seperti ini jangan lupa diklik tombol like nya guys. Jika kalian punya kritik, komentar, saran ataupun kalian komen aja di bawah video ini di kolom komentar ya guys. Jika menurut kalian ini bermanfaat, positif, banyak orang yang tahu jangan lupa share atau bagikan ke relasi kalian. Terus dukung aku untuk membangun channel YouTube gaming berbahasa Indonesia yang detail positif dan bermanfaat seperti ini dengan cara klik tombol subscribe atau langganan ya guys gratis kok. Pas aku ngomong ini gratis, tapi kalau nanti sosok ada kebijakan YouTube baru yang mengharuskan kalian membayar, ya itu juga tanggung jawab aku ya guys. Jika kalian ngomong dengan info, tapi kalian malas bantuin, diklik aja loncengnya. See you on next video. Bye bye.